tricky question is dairy. How do you feel? Hi, girl. How do you feel about being with a man that earns less than you? Wow. I mean, it is what it is. You can't, you can't compare lecturing, a lecturing pay. I mean, it's a typical lecturing pay. So it's a typical, like, yeah, investment yeah, bank, you know, tech, um, or oil and gas. <laughs> That's the, so you can be standing outside, um, maybe it's raining, and security guard will come and say, my fine auntie, here's yes, okay. umbrella. <laughs> Meanwhile, there's another auntie <laughs> Who moves to who? Question. Did you move to me? Why would you move to anyone? Uh, I don't know if you have options Hey friends, welcome back to my channel My name is Darren, if you've seen me for the first time On my channel, we basically talk about beauty, fashion, lifestyle and a little bit of almost everything Guys, I'm starting a brand new series called TV Questions with Darren And my first guest is the beautiful Aza Hi, Isabel. Hi. I saw you and then you posted that video when you were in a wedding in Lagos and I was like, oh my god, Isabel is in Lagos. I better just meet her up. <laughs> Guys, Isabel actually lives in Abuja and then I saw her post a video of herself at a wedding in Lagos and I was like, oh my god, Isabel is in Lagos. Let me eat her hair. Let me ask her if she wants to come on the channel. I, I, I legit told you we're not going to show up. I told you we're going to be like, oh no, I want to come around shy. I don't want to do this. And then she was like, Let's do it. And I was like, really? I think for you. I'm like, super, super, super excited. Thank you so much for coming to my channel. Welcome. How are you? I'm good, yeah. How's it been in Lagos? No, no. I feel like it's not actually because you asked me for my address at 3 a.m. So obviously, it's really <laughs> But like, I feel like everyone that lives in Abuja after they leave in Lagos, once they come back, they're like, oh my god, I can't do Lagos traffic. Do you feel like that? Yes, actually, it's too much. Is it that bad? No, it's too much. Like, from my office home in Abuja, it's 10 minutes. If the if the red lights are not in my favor, the traffic lights are not in my favor, less than 15 minutes. What? If there's bad traffic, like super bad traffic, it's 30 minutes. Like, when I say super bad, like, oh my god, <gasps> traffic, 30 minutes. So. Wow, please, I'm not interested in doing that. That is crazy. In Lagos, so yeah, we do 25 minutes journey in four hours, literally. So, so you can never like it. So back to today, I'm starting a brand new series called Sticky Questions with D. And my first guest is Azel. In this series, I'll basically be having guests from all over the world, if I do say so myself. And then just asking them very random questions. <laughs> just questions that I'm not sure they would like to be in that situation, but let's get right into today's right. video. Mm. Are you ready? Yes. I hope so. <laughs> so, Isabel, the first question is How do you feel about being with a man that earns less than you? Wow. Okay, yikes. Um, I, think, I think as long as he's doing an honorable job, then it's fine because, to be fair, there are certain jobs where. There are certain jobs that have that lower pain just by, just by nature of those jobs. So, if he's a lecturer, for instance, and you are like a tech person there would always be that there'll be a wide disparity there's nothing you can do about it but as long as he's been he's he's been ambitious at what he's doing he's working hard at what he's doing he's lecturing and getting his pay for instance and this is my example and it's fine i mean it is what it is he can't you can't compare lecturing a lecturing pay i mean a typical lecturing pay to a typical like bank yeah investment bank you know tech um or oil and gas kind of job so it's just what it is as long as it's an honorable job then it's fine and then that kind of job like as long as he's not a lazy guy then that's that's what would have a problem if he's lazy then not and then the fact that is like a lecturer kind of has job security that's what exactly exactly <laughs> so it's kind of some added, added benefits to the so, whole next year so how do you feel so if someone walks up to you right now and is your dream guy and the only problem is he's a lecturer what's going to happen as a time t I'm just a, if it's a lecturer, I don't have a problem with it. As long as I like the rest of him, it's fine. Oh, I see what that's so And as long cute. as no, no, okay, if I like the rest of him, it's not a douchebag, but if it's a douchebag, like, no, yeah. yeah. As long as I like the rest of him, it's cool. Okay, let's jump right into the second question. Do you think you enjoy pretty privilege? This one, I can't wait to hear what you have to say because I feel like you will lie. No, I'm always a lie, yes. And I'm proud of it. I enjoy it. It's what it is, I enjoy it. So what, what should girls that don't enjoy, what do you think they should feel like? Like, you know what pretty privilege is? Things that you can get away with. Girls that are slightly... You get it? Okay. 
If you don't get it, forget about it. I don't know how to put the guys, but like, so, but how do you feel about it? So I think, so it's, that's a that's a proper sticky one. <laughs> Largely because, yes, I'm not going to deny it. Yes, I do enjoy pretty privilege. Like, even opposite the most basic ass things. So, you can be standing outside, um, maybe it's raining, and the security guard will come and say, ah, Auntie, my fine Auntie, here's umbrella. <laughs> Meanwhile, there's another Auntie next to you. I'm not going to describe anything. She will like, he won't give it to her. Do you get it? So, I think um, in that kind of situation, the what I do is I take the umbrella and I stand next to her and be like, Why are you the other Auntie is being rude and like, you know when you're like on the queue in the bank uh -huh. and someone just comes, what you need? And then someone just goes, with BS is where you go. Know. So, that kind of thing, what would I you mean, do? She, it's just, she can't snap out of me, she can't snap out of the security guard. I just opened the window. Do you understand? So, <laughs> do you get And even if she snaps at me and says, or tries to give me an attitude, you know, I try not to take this kind of things personal because, my dear, something is wrong, it's not my own business. Do you get Maybe you're upset from home, I don't know, whatever, man. So, it's just, it's your personal business. If you want to stay, stay under the umbrella. If you don't, stay in the rain. Yes. <laughs> but yeah, another interesting thing with it though is that yes, so good privilege exists. The thing with this is just use it to, to your, not just to your advantage, but to use it to the advantage of anyone that's around you. So, I mean, you can be in an office space that maybe you're, you're having, your team is having a problem with a certain vendor, but if you come in, even if it's a, it not, it not, and it doesn't just apply to like male vendors or male counterparts. Yeah. It also applies with females. Like if you come in and I think digression. Um, I think the world really appreciates like um, beautiful people or not even beautiful people and also people that are well, well, um, that comport themselves well, carry themselves well, yeah, yeah, that well together. put together. Thank you very much. So even if it's not pretty privileged, there's also like that. Yeah, well that kind together. of respect, that kind yeah. of like... We've been well put together. So yeah. once you step into that kind of conversation, um, we, we, they were having like a, I mean, like an argument, forth. but like a heated back and forth se session. By the time you step into it, the, person, the vendor is like, okay, so da, da, da. So you can use your pity privilege to, yeah. or your, because again, pity privilege slash, I don't know, well, <laughs> well, put together. well put together privilege to <laughs> the advantage of yourself and the rest of the And then do you think you get a head on for being pretty? Like people just think, oh, she's getting a promotion because she's pretty. Oh, yeah, that also does. Oh, she's this because she's pretty. Oh, they like her because she's pretty. Oh, yeah, that does happen, but that's not my own personal problem. It's a question. That's their own personal problem. And that's just how I think about it. Yeah, so like I feel like it just makes sense for us to talk about that as well mm -hmm. yeah, while we're yeah. talking about the pretty privilege. Because yeah. you might be enjoying pretty privilege. From illiterate security guards, gay men, but like the women are supposed to empower you and then support you at 18 or you because you're pretty. Well, so, not just women though, like even guys. Like, mostly women though. <laughs> we'll argue that one later. We'll that one later, but yeah. So let's jump into the third question quickly. Uh -huh. Who should pay on the first date? Who asked who out on the first date? Is the question. So you don't mind paying? Who moved to who is the question? Did you move to me or did I move to you? <laughs> That's the question. Do you me. ever move to anyone? I personally would not move to anyone. But some people do. I mean, Why would you move to anyone? Uh, I, have, I have multiple options. Why would I? Guys! <laughs> So when do you think is the right time to get married? This one is a bit tricky. Yeah, I agree. It's quite tricky. I think I would say there's a right time. Um, but like growing up, mm -hmm. when I was young, when I was like very young, I don't know, something just told me. Like I was telling myself something that I went to get married at 25. Like I just was saying it. I didn't have a boyfriend. I didn't even necessarily have a relationship. Like, did you ever have that age? Like, oh, at this certain age, I must be married. Did he? Has it ever occurred to me? I think for me, I'm one of the weird ones, so let me just put that caveat out there. So I've never really, I've never really overly bothered myself about marriage. So mm. I've been, I mean, this sounds nerdy or stupid or whatever, but like, I've more been career focused. So like, of course, I like, do that. No, but my guy is more like, in the sense that like, yeah, I like guys and all of that ish, but like, right, I'm more, more in terms of where, I'm, where do I want to be? I'm sorry. Like, like yeah. I know it sounds like she has heck, but like, right, that's what's important. But guys, me. that's actually how she is. So the guy part is just, my, my, cause I also my thing with marriage is that what happens when it's going to happen? 
So it's not like I don't plan to get married. It's just I feel like it will happen when it's going to happen. So I don't. You don't want to put too. I don't. Much yeah, I don't. So I've never really thought too much about it or even. I've like, like an age bracket. Yeah, or like age a bracket. Time. Even like dress. Like I've never really overly thought about the dress. I just know it's going to be like. Yeah. I feel like it's going to be weird. I know. I know. It's. It's. That's why I said. That's why I said my own situation is a bit weird. Not weird, but just different. Like it's just not something. Very very different. It's not just something I've overly thought about. The one thing I have thought about in my wedding clothes is there has to be a jam. It has to be mad. That's the word I've thought about my wedding playlist. Guys, yeah, who thinks about wedding playlist without a dress? The dress would be it would be something timeless, something classic, yeah, yeah, cool stuff. But like, but yeah. I understand you. I get your vibe. I get your vibe. But for me, I, I don't really have an age. I never really thought yeah, about the age. Yeah, but for me, but for me, I've just been like a twenty-five year old kind of uh, bride. And guys, when I was twenty-five, I was heartbroken. I was alone. Nice. <laughs> Like it was never ever going to happen at that time. Not even in my world. <laughs> Guys, let's jump right into the next question. For so you have two more questions. I hope I'm not taking too much of your time. Oh, I know. We're good. We're good. Okay, so, so okay, so this one is funny. How do you know or when you're inside Have you ever been inside chick? No. Man. So if there's like, I'm sure we've definitely had friends that have been side chicks, like in the group chat. We are telling them that, nah, that guy is not your own. That guy has a babe. Like how? Right. What? What should? What do you think? Is one thing that a guy does. Let me tell you one. Okay. If a guy calls you when he's always in a car, when he's moving, when he's going somewhere like driving, <laughs> just know that you're a side chick. You kind of feel like that. About it. But what I'd say though is, if you're not like front and center of his life, then you're clearly a side chick. And what I mean by that, like, even things like it's down to things as basic as Valentine's Day, you get. Yeah. Valentine's Day is not basic. That's no, major. I, no, no, sorry. Major, sorry. That's yeah. way major. Yeah. Like, if you're not a team of fantasy, yeah. what are you doing? So things like that. It says, oh, we're no long ass meeting. Rah. That's why dispatch is there. You're not going to deliver yourself. Are you Are you the errand boy? No. no like, he like, wants like, to get. Yeah. He wants to get. You, you, you can't. With, with, with the office, you know you have deadlines. You plan ahead of that deadline. You know it's like, it's like the same day every year. It's not, it's not like. Uh, so you have to wait till February. It's not like this that way you're wondering. We need another. No, no besides, but besides that, I'm just trying to say, so some people say things like, Oh, but then he didn't send it, he's going to send it, we spent it on, we're going to celebrate it on the 15th or something like that. Ah, don't do that, man. No. Um, that's just, so things like that, but then other than that, I'd say, um, if it doesn't take, just take you seriously, do you guess? So even if you're not the side, even if it ends up that you're not the side chick, then it's just not worth your while. Because like, in thing, it's, it's down to, okay, let me not use stuff that's actually proper basic, yeah. So you say things like, oh, um, you like, give me something you like. You like. I like corn. I don't have a corn. <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe like. I, don't I know. like flowers. You like flowers, yeah. And but he gets flowers for his sister. For his sister, his mom, else. and everybody yeah. else in his life. He's only got a promotion. It's his work bestie got a promotion, and he sent her flowers. But you. I've never been sent flowers for nothing. You don't deserve it. On your birthday, your landmark birthday, maybe you're 25 or you're 30, raw, then can send you nothing. You're the side chick, guys. Okay, let me know what's the And even if you're not, then it's still not worth your while. Okay, so this is the last question for you. It, it's been so much fun having you. I almost don't want to ask you this question, because once I ask you this question, it's like we're at the end of the video. Mm -hmm. It's, would you date your friend's ex? So when I meet your friend's ex, it's not your friend's friends. Even if it's your friend's friends, like, for you to know that you dated your friend and you knew when they were together, yeah. would you date your friend's ex? Yeah. Enough men in the world. In my view, that's, that's so honourable. Like I feel like sense. no, but you know another angle is a lot of girls will sit down there and say no, so but they will. So the thing yeah, is that it depends. So let me also define ex because some people can move my ear. If they dated in secondary school, that's not an ex. That was a classmate. <laughs> <laughs> that was a classmate. That's not an ex. Right, secondary school love doesn't count in my future, sorry. Even if, you did, agree. if you did GS1 to SS3, sweetheart, that's teenage love. Cute, but right, that's nothing, man. Your best friends, that's not, that's about it. Uh, but yeah, if it was um, if it was a proper, proper like dating situation, then I'd rather not. Um, but again, they say never say never. If you end up somehow, somehow, somehow being in that situation, yeah, I'd say speak to your friend. Your okay, let me use. It. So let me use an Learn example. Her. So you have a friend. Mm -hmm. Okay, me, mm -hmm. right? You're like we meet for drinks, mm -hmm. and then someone else shows up for a drink, and I'm like, oh hi, so meet my friend Shola. Mm -hmm. 
and then that's how you know her. You don't have Shola's number, you don't have, but like anytime you watch my snap, I post Shola. You don't know Shola, you've met her once through me, but you see Shola. Are you meant to be a guy or how? Or I'm a what? girl, me. Okay, okay, okay. And then Shola breaks up with her boyfriend. Right, Would you date? Yeah, I don't know Shola or anything, I'm sorry, I don't know her. Like I don't know her legit. Like I'm sorry. Like I know her through you, but I don't. Like I don't know her surname, perhaps. Did you get? It? Yeah. So, you don't. I'm sorry. That psh, does she know my surname? No, she doesn't. Ah, it's what it is, man. <laughs> but like, if it's you, first of all, it has. I have to establish that this whether the relationship that relationship has over is, sealed. Oh, exactly. Is it's a done deal. Number one. Number two. Yeah. It's not somebody I'm, it's not just going to be a play thing. Like, if I'm going to get with that guy, it has to be a serious thing because I'm not going to risk really losing friendship. Yeah, my friendship with you for a play thing. Yeah. Get. And thirdly, I'd have to speak with you. Like, like yeah, you, know, you know, if they start to get heated a bit with you and the guy, yeah, even before he starts, he fully asks you out. Like, you just, you can't, it's, you're hanging out more, you're like, you're, you're laughing, you know, that whole thing where you're, you're, you're your funny, like, all of that foolishness. <laughs> Once that kind of foolishness starts to happen, I'm just gonna let you know that yeah, existence like this guy. Yeah. Yeah. And I would have to let I would have to let you know ahead of time. Um, yeah, that's that's just about it. Yeah. Thank you so much, Isabel, for coming on my channel. Coming for a cute, cute, cute look, girl. Like, <laughs> thank you so much, great me. Thank you so much. It's been such a very, very fun time with you. Thank you. I'm so excited. I you kicked off this. Thank. You. I don't know you love my outfit. You look so amazing. You should describe it back. <laughs> no, what? Way no. amazing than I have. But yeah, thank you so much. Welcome. Thank you so much for coming to my channel. She was my first guest, guys. I expect to see more beautiful and interesting people like Azel. Thank you so much for coming on. Thank you, darling. And guys, don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you aren't already subscribed. I told you guys, liking my video gives this video more visibility. So please like and subscribe. And even share. Bye, guys. <laughs>